Hi, so we're going to remove this fretboard. This is my prototype build. Uh, it's actually only made out of pine. So I'm actually going to throw this out. This was just a test build. But I want to get the truss rod out. <laughs> so uh, I could just break this apart, but I thought we might try the method for removing a fretboard in case I ever have to do one. I've never done one before. So the method I've seen people use is to just basically put a hot iron on top and heat up the glue and then uh, the glue will soften and you can pry it off using something like a scraper. You can apparently also use steam. The hard part is getting the steam into the joint uh, and sometimes requires drilling a hole and stuff like that but with a fretboard it's too long you'd have to drill a bunch of holes. Uh, and how do you, you know, where do you hide the hole? So I think heating up is probably the best method. My fretboard is fairly thick, so even though I'll be heating the frets, the frets don't go that far into the neck. Well, they do up this end, but not so much up this end. Because I don't go that far down, heating the frets might not transfer the heat low enough. I guess given enough time it will. So we'll see how we go with that. I might actually grab my neck wrist so I've got something to rest on while the iron's on it. The iron is uh, hot now, so we'll begin. All right, so I've got a stopwatch and I'm going to record how long it takes. So we'll put the iron on. I'm gonna start actually at uh, this end, guitar body end, we'll put the iron on. Whoops, and I'll start the stopwatch. Just want to see how long it takes to soften the glue. Um, now something I guess we could be a little careful on is um, this is a fairly light coloured fretboard. So I guess um, it would be similar if you had uh, a maple fretboard which is very light. This is sort of lightish getting a warning buzzer from my iron it's probably it's I think it's telling me it's getting too hot I wonder if it's got an automatic switch off on this iron that's interesting um, anyway I guess we can start heating up here a little bit yeah so there might be an issue if you get too hot that you might discolor your fretboard so that might be something to watch out for I guess this is fairly light, so we'll find out. We'll probably find out. I imagine the uh, metal frets will get pretty hot pretty quick. So, what's how long's that been? It's been just over a minute, so I doubt that that's going to be anywhere near long enough to start anything happening. But let's see if we can get in under there anywhere. Okay. I would say we have some softening going on already. So I'm just trying to get the edge of this in where I can. This is not a super thin scraper. You can get thinner ones. But they tend to be not as rigid when they're thinner, obviously. So I went for one that had a bit more rigidity. Okay, so I'm able to get that in in a couple of spots. So the glue is definitely softening. My iron is beeping again because I think it's I think it does have a safety. If it gets too hot, it, I think it might be switching itself off. Which is not good for what we're trying to do. The timber so far hasn't discolored. And we're two minutes, two minutes twenty now. fretboard here is really well glued in and I'm, I'm having trouble getting this in at all there's just no gap to get into I'm getting I'm having better luck from the side here
Okay, I'm going to bring the, the camera around so you can see this. So hopefully you can see this better now. The glue has definitely softened up here and you can see, hopefully you can see, just here, where I started to be able to get this in a little bit. Um, of course it's very hard to get this without me blocking the camera. But just in here I'm getting in now. See that? I can get the end in. So we've been going for about four minutes now. It probably wouldn't take you this long because it's taken me a bit longer because of uh, moving the camera and stuff like that. I try and hopefully I'm not blocking you from seeing anything here. So I'm just jiggling it up and down a little bit because I don't want to be pushing into the timber. I want to be pushing into the glue and it's a bit hard to tell where you are but you can definitely see we're getting a little bit of lift there this end here though is really good I mean it looks like one piece of timber it's so <laughs> so precise of a join but it looks to me like once we get part of this up, it's going to be really easy. Once I get one complete piece up. So I would say it takes only a couple of minutes. Now, I've used... PVA white glue to do this job. Um, not sure how long it would take with type bond. One thing I do suggest though is if you know what glue you've used, oh, I'm blocking it completely on that. If I if you know what glue you've used, to get on Google and look it up. Okay. I think I might be slightly discoloring the timber. No, no, not really. Just, I can, I've got both corners now, but I'm I'm really struggling to get the end here. Maybe it's because there's no sort of frets there. I've got a fair bit of fretboard. There's no frets on it, so the heat's not transferring very well. I'm going to put the iron there because it's just getting too hard to do it. Ow! Oh, the frets are hot. <laughs> Don't touch the frets. <laughs> You'll burn yourself. Like I just did. I thought I was further up. Well, I didn't think I had the iron on that part. Okay, now we're almost under there. That's good. Now once we get under here, I think it will be not too bad. I don't know if you can see that now, but we're getting under there. That's it. Okay. Finally. So it's... Uh, We've been going now for seven minutes. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Once you get under there, it's real progress. I only wish this spatula was longer. Okay. So I've been told that uh, Type Bond, which is probably the most popular glue for guitarists, I've been told that Type Bond this works with, and uh, I believe it also works with Hide Glue.
be interesting to see if we end up with any damage to the uh, to the fretboard of the neck at all. I'm not being super careful, but it looks like it's not actually tearing any timber away there that you can see. Oh, I'll need to move the camera a bit. Oh, you get, I'll just show the whole neck now that you know what's going on. getting a bit of glue on this out. I have heard some people say that um, you have to work fairly quickly otherwise the glue starts to reset again but I actually don't think it's going to be much of a problem because you can see it's lifting up here as long as you've got the spatula still in there somewhere Oh, you're kidding me? It's starting to rain. You have got to be kidding me. Really, Melbourne? I said really Melbourne because, in case you don't know, I live in Melbourne and it's known for having very, very changeable weather. It can be sunny, as it just was, and now I've got rain coming on me. I can see blue sky, so it's going to clear up, but we're at not almost 10 minutes. Um, but if this was uh, <laughs> if this was my guitar that I was building, I would be really panicking right now because I wouldn't want to get it wet. But uh, luckily, this is the guitar we're pulling to bits, so a little bit of rain will be okay. Okay, we're almost up to the seventh fret. I might have to get in front of the camera now to do the next bit. This is probably the other way of doing it, it's just to move this sucker up this way. If we just keep the heat on maybe. 11 minutes, 11 minutes 24. It does seem that I let it cool down a bit too much. Not really moving at the moment. had rapid progress really once we got that heated up I think maybe it just needs to get hot enough. I haven't really just like left the iron there for quite a while I will let this get too still in case it actually sticks to the spatula I am rather impressed that none of the timber got torn there so yeah I'm using white PVA but apparently this will work with hide glue or tight bond or those sort of glues. There are some glues that heat will not uh, affect, will not get a release on. So if you know what glue it is just check but I'm pretty sure most guitar builders with fretboards would use glues that are will react to heat. I mean, if you're... Oh, wow, this, this... Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Don't touch the frets. Ow. <laughs> um, we, we've got to a point where it just doesn't want to move any further for some reason. So I don't know if I'm going to have to use a bit of force now and tap it with a hammer. I'm actually starting to damage the timber a little bit there by 
trying a bit too hard. But getting past this seventh thread is proving to be a challenge. There goes my phone. Lucky I've got a good industrial cover on it. 13 minutes and a, 13 and a half minutes. I would have thought this would be getting easier as we go since um, yeah, I, I, th I would have thought it would be getting easier because well one we're already under there and the fretboard gets thinner up this end so there's less less to pry up at the, at the uh, head end but it's not doesn't appear to be working that way unless that is stopping the glue getting to the uh, getting it for getting to the bottom of the glue I guess but yeah this seventh fret area doesn't seem to be liking it very much just gonna leave that for a minute I'll come back all right Rick just hit the 15 minute mark let's have another go at this area I'm gonna have to take the iron off unfortunately to do it can we get past this seventh fret That seems to be working. Yeah, I can feel the glue is soft. I don't know if you can see that sticking out there. Maybe we need a bit of an angle. I might actually lift the angle a little bit now so you can get up and look down on it because then you might be able to see the spatula a bit better. That might enable you to actually see what's going on a little better now. I'm actually got glue on the spatula, I can see it coming on there. I'm going to try and wipe it off actually. So it's coming up. Okay, I think it's cooling off now. This end's not hot enough, so I'll heat that up now. It's definitely working. Um, I might move that. I've got a little bit of rubber on my. Um, no, I can't see you, so I don't know what you can see. On my neck crest here, I've got a little bit of rubber, stick on rubber, and um, I don't want the rubber to melt, so <laughs> I've just moved it back. Yeah, I don't want to have the iron on top of it for very long because it starts to melt. Alright, so that's coming along. Won't be long now, I think, and we'll have it off. 17 minutes. 17 minutes and 40 seconds. See a bit of glue build up here now on this spatula, which is probably not helping actually. Almost up to the second fret. I've hit the second fret on this side. Not on your side though. I've actually hit the first fret now on this side. I'm actually going to put a little bit more heat on, I could 
push through now I think and get it off but the reason I'm not going to is um, a lot of time with anything in life woodwork or anything driving a car even you get to the last little bit and you think I'm almost there and you just rush it and you push through and that's when things go wrong right at the end you snap a piece off a piece of wood or something pulls off because you just rushed it and didn't soften the glue enough now in this case it doesn't matter if it breaks off because I'm throwing this in the bin anyway but uh, I want to do it as if I was doing an actual uh, job fretboard replacement or something in case I ever have to do it I want to make sure I know how to do it right so it's just gone 20 minutes here we go so that's something to watch for in this case I didn't damage this but I think I clipped it we did just to just take a tiny bit of timber out of the top there but anyway I'll show it to you now so that's 20 minutes and 39 seconds it is right now all right so let's say 20 minutes because I spent wasted time talking all right let's turn the iron off I'm gonna move. Oh no, I won't put it on the ground because my dog might decide to lick it. So let's pick you up and we'll show you the fretboard here. So here's the fretboard. So this is the reason I want to take the truss rod out and measure it because on this particular build you can see the truss rod isn't quite flush. Oh, actually the truss board sits a little bit lower than the um, than the top. It doesn't mat up right with the top it's a little bit low so I want to take this truss rod out and measure it exactly before I route the channel on my new guitar oh, on the proper guitar this is a test now we're doing, making the proper one now and so yeah I want to make sure and that's why I decided to get the truss rod out of here so I can measure it and get it ready for the next guitar now here we've got a little bit of an issue so it looks like we left a little bit of the fretboard behind here and I this is the area where I said it looked like it was just one piece it was so well glued down you couldn't even see that the line between the body and the fretboard at the back here and you can see there that it has actually uh, torn some of that fretboard off the rest of it looks pretty good I have got an issue here we'll torn into it a little bit let's see this is gonna be a funny angle for you I know but you can see just above my finger there we have lost a little bit of the neck so that's an issue the rest of the neck though on this side at least looks really good we did lose a little bit of timber I just noticed here at the end so I was getting this side off really well but this side was sticking and even though I said oh, yeah, I don't push at the end and I take my time I'm gonna soften the glue lucky I did because even with that it tore this little bit of timber that you can just see here this loose bit it tore it out of there now you, I could, you could just fill that, if, you, if I was going to put fretboard back on, we could just fill that with something and it would be okay. But, you know, it could have torn off here. Uh, so, yeah, the rest of it on this side looks good. I'm just going to have a look on the other side. The actual far side of the fretboard there, the, the whole edge, actually looks perfect. So we only ended up with this defect here, which, you know, we could maybe fill that with sawdust or something when we're doing a glue on if you needed to that would be an easy fix this i mean we can obviously flatten this off by just sanding it back but it's obviously taken a little bit off the uh, the fretboard there so looking at the fretboard now we can see um that's where it's torn a little bit off it doesn't look too bad uh, i can feel i think it might be just glue I don't think there's any remnants of any other timber on there, it's just the glue, but it looks okay. It looks alright, just a matter of uh, sanding it back, and it would be good to go, put back on. Has it warped or anything? It still looks reasonably straight and flat looking through the camera there. So, anyway. There you go. So first go over doing it, it took 20 minutes, so I'm sure 
I could have done it quicker without using the camera work. It looked like it was going to go in 10 minutes and the second half was actually harder than the first half, which I was expecting it to be the other way around. Anyway, job done. Thank you for tuning in to Cheapskate. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. Thanks.